The Mahajanapadas Sanskrit, Mahajanapada lit. Great Realm, from Maha, Great, and Janapada, foothold of a tribe, country, were sixteen kingdoms or oligarchic republics that existed in ancient India from the 6th to 4th centuries BCE. Two of them were most probably Ganatantras republics and others had forms of monarchy. Ancient Buddhist texts like the Angatara Nikaya make frequent reference to sixteen great kingdoms and republics which had evolved and flourished in a belt stretching from Gandhara in the northwest to Anga in the eastern part of the Indian subcontinent and included parts of the Trans Vindian region. Prior to the rise of Buddhism in India, the 6th 5th century BCE is often regarded as a major turning point in early Indian history. It saw the emergence of India's first large cities after the demise of the Indus Valley civilization, as well as the rise of Ramana movements including Buddhism and Jainism which challenged the religious orthodoxy of the Vedic period. Archaeologically, this period corresponds in part to the northern black polished ware culture. Topic <inaudible> overview. The term Janapada literally means the foothold of a tribe. The fact that Janapada is derived from Jana points to an early stage of land taking by the Jana tribe for a settled way of life. This process of first settlement on land had completed its final stage prior to the times of the Buddha and Panini. The pre-Buddhist northwest region of the Indian subcontinent was divided into several Janapadas demarcated from each other by boundaries. In Panini's Ashtadayi, Janapada stands for country and Janapadan for its citizenry. Each of these Janapadas was named after the Kshatriya tribe or the Kshatriya Jana who had settled therein. Buddhist and other texts only incidentally refer to 16 great nations which were in existence before the time of the Buddha. They do not give any connected history except in the case of Magadha. The Buddhist Angatara Nikaya, at several places, gives a list of 16 great nations. Another Buddhist text, the Diga Nikaya, mentions only twelve Mahajanapadas from the above list and omits four of them Asaka, Avanti, Gandhara, and Kamboja. Chula Nidesa, another ancient text of the Buddhist canon, adds Kalinga to the list and substitutes Yona for Gandhara, thus listing the Kamboja and the Yona as the only Mahajanapadas from Uttarapatha. The Vyahayaprajñapti or the Bhagavati Sutra, a sutra of Jainism, gives a different list of sixteen Mahajanapadas. The author of the Bhagavati Sutra or the has a focus on the countries of Madhidesa and of the Far East and South only. He omits the nations from Uttarapatha like the Kamboja and Gandhara. The more extended horizon of the Bhagavati and the omission of all countries from Uttarapatha, clearly shows that the Bhagavati list is of later origin and therefore less reliable. <laughs> list of Mahajanapadas Anga The first reference to the Angas is found in the Atharva Veda where they find mention along with the Magadas, Gandharis and the Mujavats, apparently as a despised people. The Jaina Prajnapana ranks Angas and Vangas in the first group of Aryan people. It mentions the principal cities of ancient India. It was also a great centre of trade and commerce and its merchants regularly sailed to distant Suwanapum. Anga was annexed by Magadha in the time of Bimbisara. This was the one and only conquest of Bimbisara. Asaka The country of Asaka or the Ashmaka tribe was located in Dakshinapatha or southern India. In Buddha's time, many of the Asakas were located on the banks of the river Godavari south of the Vindhya mountains. The capital of the Asakas was Patana or Patali, which corresponds to Padanya of Mahabharata. The Ashmakas are also mentioned by Panini. They are placed in the northwest in the Markandeya Purana and the Burhat Samhita. The river Godavari separated the country of the Asakas from that of the Mulakas or Alakas. The commentator of Kautilya's Arthashastra identifies Ashmaka with Maharashtra. The country of Asaka lay outside the pale of Madhyadesa. It was located on a southern high road, the Dakshinapatha. At one time, Asaka included Mulaka and abutted Avanti. Avanti 
The country of the Avantis was an important kingdom of Western India and was one of the four great monarchies in India in the post era of Mahavira and Buddha, the other three being Kosala, Vatsa, and Magadha. Avanti was divided into north and south by the river Narmada. Initially, Mahashamati Mahasati was the capital of southern Avanti, and Ujjaini Sanskrit, Ujjainini was of northern Avanti, but at the times of Mahavira and Buddha, Ujjaini was the capital of integrated Avanti. The country of Avanti roughly corresponded to modern Malwa, Namar and adjoining parts of today's Madhya Pradesh. Both Mahishmati and Ujjaini stood on the southern high road called Dakshinapatha which extended from Rajagriha to Pradishthana modern Pathan. Avanti was an important centre of Buddhism and some of the leading Theras and Theris were born and resided there. King Nandavardhana of Avanti was defeated by King Shishunaga of Magadha. Avanti later became part of the Magadhan Empire. <laughs> Chedi The Chedis, Chedis or Chedias had two distinct settlements of which one was in the mountains of Nepal and the other in Bundelkhand near Kasambi. According to old authorities, Chedis lay near Yamuna midway between the kingdom of Kurus and Vatsas. In the medieval period, the southern frontiers of Chedi extended to the banks of the river Narmada. Satthivatnagara, the Sukti or Suktamati of Mahabharata, was the capital of Chedi. The Chedis were an ancient people of India and are mentioned in the Rigveda, with their king Kashu Chaitya. The location of the capital city, Suktamati, has not been established with certainty. Historian Hemchandra Raychaudhuri and F. E. Parjitar believed that it was in the vicinity of Banda, Uttar Pradesh. Archaeologist Dilip Kumar Chakrabarti has proposed that Suktamati can be identified as the ruins of a large early historical city, at a place with the modern day name Itaha, on the outskirts of Rua, Madhya Pradesh. Gandhara The wool of the Gandharis is referred to in the Rigveda. The Gandharas and their king figure prominently as strong allies of the Kurus against the Pandavas in the Mahabharata War. The Gandharas were furious people, well trained in the art of war. According to Puranic traditions, this Janapada was founded by Gandhara, son of Aruda, a descendant of Yayati. The princes of this country are said to have come from the line of Druhyu who was a famous king of the Rigvedic period. The river Indus watered the lands of Gandhara. Taksashila and Pushkalavati, the two cities of this Mahajanapada, are said to have been named after Taksa and Pushkara, the two sons of Bharata, a prince of Ayodhya. According to Vayu Purana 2 the Gandharas were destroyed by Pramiti aka Kalika at the end of Kaliyuga. Panini mentioned both the Vedic form Gandhari as well as the later form Gandhara in his Ashtadayi. The Gandhara kingdom sometimes also included Kashmira. Hecateus of Miletus (549–468) refers to Kaspapiros Kasiapura or Purushapura, i.e., modern-day Peshawar, as a Gandharic city. According to Gandhara Jataka, at one time Gandhara formed a part of the kingdom of Kashmir. The Jataka also gives another name Chandahara for Gandhara. Gandhara Mahajanapada of Buddhist traditions included territories of East Afghanistan, and northwest of the Panjab modern districts of Peshawar and Rawalpindi. Its later capital was Taksashila The Taksashila University was a renowned center of learning in ancient times, where scholars from all over the world came to seek higher education. Panini, the Indian genius of grammar and Kautilya are the world-renowned products of Taksila University. King Pukyusati or Pushkarasaran of Gandhara in the middle of the 6th century BCE was the contemporary of King Bimbisara of Magadha. Gandhara was located on the Grand Northern High Road and was a centre of international commercial activities. According to one group of scholars, the Gandharas and Kamboyas were cognate people. It is also contended that the Kurus, Kamboyas, Gandharas and Balakas were cognate people. According to Dr. T. L. Shaw, the Gandhara and Kamboja were nothing but two provinces of one empire and were located coterminously, hence influencing each other's language. Naturally, they may have once been a cognate people. Gandhara was often linked politically with the neighboring regions of Kashmir and Kamboja. Kamboja <laughs> <laughs> Kamboyas are also included in the Uttarapatha. 
In ancient literature, the Kamboja is variously associated with the Gandhara, Dharada and the Balaka Bactria. Ancient Kamboja is known to have comprised regions on either side of the Hindukish. The original Kamboja was located in eastern Oxus country as neighbor to Balaka, but with time, some clans of the Kamboyas appear to have crossed the Hindukish and planted colonies on its southern side also. These latter Kamboyas are associated with the Dharadas and Gandharas in Indian literature and also find mention in the edicts of Ashoka. The evidence in the Mahabharata and in Ptolemy geography distinctly supports two Kamboja settlements. The cis Hindukish region from Nuristan up to Rajauri in southwest of Kashmir, sharing borders with the Dharadas and the Gandharas, constituted the Kamboja country. The capital of Kamboja was probably Rajapura modern Rajauri in the southwest of Kashmir. The Kamboja Mahajanapada of the Buddhist traditions refers to this cis Hindukish branch of ancient Kamboyas, the trans Hindukish region including the Pamirs and Badakhshan, which shared borders with the Balakas in the west, and the Lohas and Rishikas of Sogdiana, Fergana in the north, constituted the Parama Kamboja country. The trans Hindukish branch of the Kamboyas remained pure Iranian, but a large section of the Kamboyas of cis Hindukish appears to have come under Indian cultural influence. The Kamboyas are known to have had both Iranian as well as Indian affinities. The Kamboyas were also a well known republican people since epic times. The Mahabharata refers to several Gana or republics of the Kamboyas. Kautilya's Arthashastra and Ashoka's Edict No. 13 also attest that the Kamboyas followed republican constitution. Panini's sutras, though, tend to convey that the Kamboja of Panini was a Kshatriya monarchy, but the special rule and the exceptional form of derivative. He gives to denote the ruler of the Kamboyas implies that the king of Kamboja was a titular head king consul only. According to Buddhist texts, the first fourteen of the above Mahajanapadas belong to Majamadisa mid -India, while the last two belong to Uttarapatha or the northwest division of Jambudvipa. In a struggle for supremacy that followed in the 6th, 5th century BCE, the growing state of the Magadas emerged as the predominant power in ancient India, annexing several of the Janapadas of the Majamadisa. A bitter line in the Brahmin Puranas laments that Magadhan Emperor Mahapama Nanda exterminated all Kshatriyas, none worthy of the name Kshatriya being left thereafter. This obviously refers to the Kassis, Kosalas, Kurus, Panchalas, Vatsyas and other Neo-Vedic tribes of the East Panjab of whom nothing was ever heard except in the legend and poetry. The Nandas usurped the throne of Shishunaga dynasty c. 345 BCE, thus founding the Nanda Empire, the Kambojans and Gandharans, however, never came into direct contact with the Magadhan state until Chandragupta and Kautilya arose on the scene. But these nations also fell prey to the Achaemenids of Persia during the reign of Cyrus 558 BCE or in the first year of Darius. Kamboja and Gandhara formed the twentieth and richest satrapy of the Achaemenid Empire. Cyrus I is said to have destroyed the famous Kamboja city called Kapisi modern Bagram in Paropamisad. Topic: <laughs> Kashi. The kingdom was located in the region around its capital Varanasi, bounded by the Varuna and Asi rivers in the north and south which gave Varanasi its name. Before Buddha, Kasi was the most powerful of the 16 Mahajanapadas. Several Jataka tales bear witness to the superiority of its capital over other cities in India and speak highly of its prosperity and opulence. These stories tell of the long struggle for supremacy between Kashi and the three kingdoms of Kosala, Anga and Magadha. Although King Brihadratha of Kashi conquered Kosala, Kashi was later incorporated into Kosala by King Kansa during Buddha's time. The Kashis along with the Kosalas and Vidyans find mention in Vedic texts and appear to have been a closely allied people. The Matsya Purana and Albaruni spell Kashi as Kasaka and Kaushaka respectively. All other ancient texts read Kashi. <laughs> Kosala The country of Kosala was located to the northwest of Magadha, with its capital at Ayodhya. Its territory corresponded to the modern Awa or Oudh in central and eastern Uttar Pradesh. It had the river Ganges for its southern, the river Gandak Narayani for its eastern, and the Himalaya mountains for its northern boundary. It finds mention as the center of Vedic Dharma. Its kings allied with the Devadas in various wars against the Daityas, Rukshas, and Asuras. 
Koshala and Ayodhya hold a central place in the Hindu scriptures, Idiyas, and Purana. Raghuvansha Ikshvakuvansha was the longest continuous dynasty, Lord Rama was a king in this dynasty. Other great kings were Prithu, Harish Chandra, and Dilip, who are each mentioned in different Puranas, Ramayan, and Mahabharat. According to these texts, Koshala was the most powerful and biggest kingdom ever in the recorded history. Later, the kingdom was ruled by the famous king Prasenajit during the era of Mahavira and Buddha, followed by his son Vidudaba King Prasenajit was highly educated. His position was further improved by a matrimonial alliance with Magadha, his sister was married to Bimbisara and part of Kasi was given as dowry. There was, however, a struggle for supremacy between King Pasenadi and King Ajatashatru of Magadha which was finally settled once the confederation of Likshavis became aligned with Magadha. Kosala was ultimately merged into Magadha when Vidudaba was Kosala's ruler. Ayodhya, Sakita, Banaras, and Srivasti were the chief cities of Kosala. Kuru The Puranas trace the origin of Kurus from the Puru Bharata family. Kuru was born after 25 generations of Puru's dynasty, and after 15 generations of Kuru, Kauravas and Pandavas were born. Aitareya Brahmana locates the Kurus in Madhyadesha and also refers to the Uttarakuras as living beyond the Himalayas. According to the Buddhist text Sumangavilasini, the people of Kururashtra the Kurus came from the Uttarakuru. Vayu Purana attests that Kuru, son of Samvarsana of the Puru lineage, was the eponymous ancestor of the Kurus and the founder of Kururashtra Kuru Janapada in Kurukshetra. The country of the Kurus roughly corresponded to the modern Thanissar, state of Delhi, and Meerut district of Uttar Pradesh. According to the Jatakas, the capital of the Kurus was Indraprastha Indipada near modern Delhi which extended seven leagues. At Buddha's time, the Kuru country was ruled by a titular chieftain king consul named Karavya. The Kurus of the Buddhist period did not occupy the same position as they did in the Vedic period but they continued to enjoy their ancient reputation for deep wisdom and sound health. The Kurus had matrimonial relations with the Yadavas, the Bhojas, Trigratas, and the Panchalas. There is a Jataka reference to King Dhanajaya, introduced as a prince from the race of Yudhishtra. Though a well-known monarchical people in the earlier period, the Kurus are known to have switched to a republican form of government during the 6th to 5th centuries BCE. In the 4th century BCE, Kautilya's Arthashastra also attests the Kurus following the Rajashabdopajivan king consul constitution. Topic: <laughs> Magadha The Magadha was one of the most prominent and prosperous of Mahajanapadas. The capital city Pataliputra Patna, Bihar, was situated on the confluence of major rivers like the Ganga, Sun, Punpun and Gandak. The alluvial plains of this region and its proximity to the copper and iron-rich areas of Bihar and Jharkhand helped the kingdom to develop good quality weapons and support the agrarian economy. Its location at the center of the highways of trade of those days contributed to its wealth. All these factors helped Magadha to emerge as the most prosperous state of that period. The kingdom of the Magadhas roughly corresponded to the modern districts of Patna and Gaya in southern Bihar and parts of Bengal in the east. The capital city of Pataliputra was bound in the north by the river Ganges, in the east by the river Champa, in the south by the Vindhya Mountains and in the west by the river Sona. During Buddha's time its boundaries included Anga. Its earliest capital was Jorivraja or Rajagaya modern Rajagar in the Nalanda district of Bihar. The other names for the city were Magadapura, Brihadrathapura, Vasumati, Kushagrapura and Bimbasarapuri. It was an active center of Jainism in ancient times. The first Buddhist council was held in Rajagaya in the Vaibhara hills. Later on, Pataliputra became the capital of Magadha. Mala The Malas are frequently mentioned in Buddhist and Jain works. They were a powerful people dwelling in northern South Asia. According to Mahabharata, Panduputra Bhimasena is said to have conquered the chief of the Malas, Mals in the course of his expedition in eastern India. During the Buddhist period, the Malas, Mals Kshatriya were a republican people with their dominion consisting of nine territories corresponding to the nine confederated clans. These republican states were known as Gana. 
Two of these confederations, one with Kuzanara modern Kasha near Gorakhpur as its capital and the second with Pava modern Padrana, 12 miles from Kasha as the capital, had become very important at the time of Buddha. Kuzanara and Pava are very important in the history of Buddhism and Jainism since Lord Buddha and Lord Mahavira, the 24th Tirthankara took their last meals at Kushanara and Pava, Pavapuri respectively. Buddha was taken ill at Pava and died at Kuzanara, whereas Lord Mahavira took his nirvana at Pavapuri. It is widely believed that Lord Gotam died at the courtyard of King Sastipal Mall of Kushinagar, Kushinara. Kushinagar is now the center of the Buddhist pilgrimage circle which is being developed by the Tourism Development Corporation of Uttar Pradesh. The Malas, like the Lichavas, are mentioned by Manumriti as Vratya Kshatriyas. They are called Vasishthas in the Mahaparnibbana Suttanta. The Malas originally had a monarchical form of government but later they switched to one of Samga Republic, the members of which called themselves Rajas. The Malas appeared to have formed an alliance with the Likavas for self-defense but lost their independence not long after Buddha's death and their dominions were annexed to the Magadhan Empire. Matsya <inaudible> 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 The country of the Matsya or Macha tribe lay to the south of the Kurus and west of the Yamuna, which separated them from the Panchalas. It roughly corresponded to the former state of Jaipur in Rajasthan, and included the whole of Alwar with portions of Bharatpur. The capital of Matsya was at Varatanagara modern Bairat, which is said to have been named after its founder King Virata. In Pali literature, the Matsyas are usually associated with the Saracenas. The western Matsya was the hill tract on the north bank of the Chambal. A branch of Matsya is also found in later days in the Visagapatam region. The Matsyas had not much political importance of their own during the time of Buddha. King Sujata ruled over both the Chedis and Matsyas, thus showing that Matsya once formed a part of the Chedi kingdom. Panchala. The Panchalas occupied the country to the east of the Kurus between the mountains and river Ganges. It roughly corresponded to modern Budan, Farakabad and the adjoining districts of Uttar Pradesh. The country was divided into Uttara Panchala and Dakshina Panchala. The northern Panchala had its capital at Adi Chatra or Chhatravati modern Ramnagar in the Bareilly district, while southern Panchala had its capital at Kampilya or Kampal in the Farakabad district. The famous city of Kanyakaba or Kanauj was situated in the kingdom of Panchala. Originally a monarchical clan, the Panchals appear to have switched to Republican corporation in the 6th and 5th centuries BCE. In the 4th century BCE, Kautilya's Arthashastra also attests the Panchalas as following the Rajashabdopajivan constitution. Surasena. The country of the Surasenas lay to the east of Matsya and west of Yamuna. This corresponds roughly to the bridge region of Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan, and Gwalior region of Madhya Pradesh. It had its capital at Madura or Mathura. Avantiputra, the king of Surasena, was the first among the chief disciples of Buddha, through whose help Buddhism gained ground in Mathura country. The Indakas and Vrishnas of Mathura, Surasena are referred to in the Ashtadayi of Panini. In Kautilya's Arthashastra, the Vrishnas are described as Sangha or Republic. The Vrishnas, Indakas and other allied tribes of the Yadavas formed a Sangha and Vasudeva Krishna is described as the Sangha Mukya. Mathura, the capital of Surasena, was also known at the time of Megasthenes as the center of Krishna worship. The Surasena kingdom had lost its independence on annexation by the Magadhan Empire. Vajji Vajji or Vrijji was a confederacy of neighbouring clans including the Lichavas and one of the principal Mahajanapadas of ancient India. The area they ruled constitutes the region of Mathila in northern Bihar and their capital was the city of Vishali. Both the Buddhist text Angatara Nikaya and the Jaina text Bhagavati Sutra included Vajji in their lists of Salasa Mahajanapadas. The name of this Mahajanapada was derived from one of its ruling clans, the Virgis. The Vajji state is indicated to have been a republic. This clan is mentioned by Panini, Chanakya and Xuanzang. 
Topic: <laughs> Vatsa or Vamsa. The Vatsas or Vamsas are called to be a branch of the Kurus. The Vatsa or Vamsa country corresponded with the territory of modern Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. It had a monarchical form of government with its capital at Kasambi identified with the village Kosam, 38 miles from Allahabad. Kasambi was a very prosperous city where a large number of wealthy merchants resided. It was the most important entreport of goods and passengers from the northwest and south. Udayana was the ruler of Vatsa in the 6th-5th century BCE. He was very powerful, warlike and fond of hunting. Initially King Udayana was opposed to Buddhism, but later became a follower of Buddha and made Buddhism the state religion. Udayana's mother, Queen Marigavati, is notable for being one of the earliest known female rulers in Indian history. The period of the Vedas Brahmarshi Desha, the county of the holy sages, includes the territories of the Kurus, Matsyas, Panchalas and Shurasinas i.e., the eastern half of the state of Patiala and of the Delhi division of the Punjab, the Alwar state and adjacent territory in Rajputana, the region which lies between the Ganges and the Jumna, and the Mutra district in the United Provinces. See also Janapada Iron Age India Epic India Indo-Aryan peoples Rigvedic tribes <laughs>